We know earlier this afternoon 18 districts uh, were put in a delay situation in the Avalon Peninsula area. Uh, the rest, the 22 other districts, uh, remaining open. Considering what you're hearing now, with the province going into an alert level 5 now due to this UK variant, which you know has is, is, uh, raised a number of concerns here, what is the situation right now with regards to the election tomorrow? Right. So as a result of this evening's change to Newfoundland Labrador's uh, public health alert level, I'm uh, suspending all in-person voting for all 40 provincial electoral districts. Uh, in-person voting will not be rescheduled. So our shift now will, uh, our, the election will now shift exclusively to voting by mail using special ballots. Okay. So that, of course, then will be a delay then in determining the results um, of the election. Can you walk us through then what that process is going to look like and then in terms of determining uh, the results and, and how long this process now could take? Right. So um, the uh, what we've done, we had uh, reintroduced the special ballot system for the 18 districts in uh, in the St. John's area with a deadline of eight o'clock tomorrow night to apply for uh, for a mail out kit. Uh, we've now extended that deadline to Monday, February 15th at 8 p.m. And uh, so the people will then then apply as soon as we have all of their information. We'll start sending out the kits by uh, express post. Post, and uh, then they uh, and they'll be able to return them by express post. How long then do you think it will take to to determine election results? And I guess it's a two part question here. In the interim of all of that, um, yeah. will candidates still be able to uh, campaign? Yeah, and it'll be uh, it'll be very difficult for a candidate to campaign during these types of uh, of events because your, your movements are very much restricted during uh, that level of lockdown. So uh, we're hoping to get all of the kids back uh, to us by about March 1st. Okay. And then at that point in time, uh, is there uh, a rough timeline in terms of how long it will take to count those votes coming in? Uh, it, uh, it will probably take, uh, uh, you know, probably take a, a better part of a week to count all of those. We also have all of the, uh, the, uh, um, the advanced polls votes that were already done uh, last Saturday. So we have all of those to count as well as uh, the special ballots that we had already received. So we had already received 35,000 or almost 35,000 of those. So uh, we'll have quite a few to count here at uh, Elections NL. This is certainly unprecedented, uh, Bruce, a situation that I don't think anyone really felt that they were having to deal with. Kind of walk us through um, your decision making in terms of, of what needed to be done to continue to keep the election going as it, as it seems, but certainly going back to, I guess, the old school form of mail-in uh, ballots, uh, you know, mail-in voting uh, compared to in-person um, voting as would, would naturally be done. Um, walk us through sort of that whole decision process in order to ensure that everything is then also done uh, properly um, to ensure that, you know, proper results are going to be coming in with through all of this. Yeah, and uh, the, uh, the the part about the special ballot process is that it uh, is uh, and the mail-in process that it is very much a case of we we know exactly who who we send the kids out to so we also know how many we're expecting to come back mm -hmm. so uh, and because it's a, a, a special ballot and it's a mail-in process it's a multi envelope system so uh, there's a, uh, the ballot is completed into a secrecy envelope secrecy envelope is inside of a declaration envelope so that we know that the person that we sent the kid is actually the person who uh, is sending it back to us, so it uh, it takes a while to count those because it's not uh, it's not a traditional ballot that's mm -hmm. used. Uh, it's it's actually a, a, a pretty much a blank ballot, and they have to uh, write the name of the person for the district in which they're living in. Oh, okay. So there's not even just sort of a uh, you know a, a filling in of the circle there. It's actually handwritten in terms of who that individual is that that voter would like to uh, place their vote for. Yeah, that's that's correct. But they'll also be given a list of all of the names of the candidates running in, each, in their district as well. What about having people then counting these ballots? Are you going to require um, more help with that? 
Uh, yeah, typically, when we run that process, and it's always been a process that we do uh, centrally. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, we've always uh, counted those ballots uh, here at elections and our headquarters, so for the entire province. So uh, we we're very familiar with how the process works, but on this scale, that will require us to uh, uh, expand uh, the number of people that we have involved in the in the counting process. Mm -hmm. But also complicated by that is uh, that we're at uh, you know a higher alert level of uh, of this pandemic. So mm -hmm. we'll uh, we also have to keep people spread apart uh, while we're doing that counting. Yeah, exactly. So it looks like, from my understanding here, based on your calculations, hoping to have everything in by March first, give yep. it about a week or so. Uh, so perhaps by the second week of March, those results uh, you'll have, I guess, the final results uh, in yes. for this election. Um, yes. This is information that you and I are talking about now. We were just listening to the press conference there with Premier Fury there, as mm -hmm. well as health officials um, not being able to not, not sort of giving any further information as to what the re the the outcome or, or what the result of the election was going to be. Have mm -hmm. you had the opportunity now to speak with, or prior to speaking with me, to speak with all the respective candidates and parties to say, here's where we're going to move forward? Uh, no, actually, uh, I haven't. Uh, it, uh, the, uh, we're in the process of issuing the press release, which I think uh, will be out in uh, the next few minutes for all of the political parties. Uh, you know, I've, uh, you know they, they all sort of know what's coming, I believe. So. Yeah. Yeah. How difficult has this uh, been? Everyone, of course, wanting to ensure that this is going to be a proper and fair election. Um, difficult in sort of navigating through all of this. Yeah, and it, uh, you know, the, um, it will be a fair process. It, uh, you know, now, to, uh, you know, to vote now, you have to do it by, um, by mail. And, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, we know that there's, uh, there's always people who are concerned about doing anything by mail or voting by mail, but mm -hmm. it's a very secure process. And, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, it, uh, you know, the secrecy of the ballot is uh, paramount in, uh, in our process. Based on the eligibility of those that can vote, roughly how many uh, ballots are you anticipating to come in? Um, uh, uh, yeah, that, that's uh, that's anyone's guess at yeah. this point. Uh, we've our advance polls were actually uh, about eighty percent higher than uh, the, uh, than the previous election in twenty nineteen. So mm -hmm. we went from about twenty one thousand to almost uh, thirty three or thirty four thousand people voted in the advance poll last Saturday. Our special ballots in the last general election were about 9,300. Um, we are over 35,000 so far, and I expect that that will uh, climb quite a bit. Uh, eligible voters in the province is about, uh, at any one time, about 350, 360,000 people. So uh, time will tell how many of those will uh, decide to vote. Uh, traditionally, we have about 60% people uh, vote. So. Uh, uh, that's usually our turnout. So, uh, you know, it could be anywhere upwards of, uh, say, around 200,000 people mm -hmm. end up voting. Well, I know you have a very busy day ahead. I can hear the phones already starting to, uh, <laughs> to ring there. Yeah. I really appreciate you giving us your time uh, and oh, no laying problem. it out for us here, right here on CDB yeah. News Channel. Bruce okay, Chalk, uh, Chief Electoral Officer in Newfoundland, Labrador. Bruce, thank you so much for this.